Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MacWarrior Online. Guys, today we are playing the Grasshopper because I haven't played the Grasshopper 5N ever. Ever, ever, and I wanted to do something today with it, and therefore we're gonna play it. Now, what to do with the Grasshopper 5N? Uh, I was thinking about classic laser vomit, which is large pulse and medium laser combination. We are running uh, two large pulses in the left and right side also. We have um, two medium lasers in the left arm, two medium lasers in the right arm, or the other way around, and then two medium lasers in the head, or one in the head and one in the side torso here. Uh, light engine, 325. No jump jets today, sadly, but I think this is just okay. If you really, 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 really wanted to have a jump jet, guys, you could go to something like this? Uh, 60? Was it 55? Uh, you can do the math on that, but uh, yeah, just drop down the, the armor a little bit. I mean, a lot. And then you can put a jump jet in here, so you have some mobility here. Um, but apart from it, guys, we are engaging at about 300 meters range, and we have a good alpha strike of 50 damage. And um, that's what we are doing here. By the way, um, the Grasshopper here, the 5N, has uh, two hard points in the right side also. And while you have a high hard point and a low hard point, and I put the uh, large pulse laser in the low hard point because I think... It doesn't really matter because you have the other large pulse in the low hard point as well. And um, if you want to have the large pulse that I'm having in the lower hard point here and the higher hard point, you just need to swap the um, the order of the, um, the pulse laser here. You just put the, the pulse laser afterwards and now we have it in the high hard point. So the first weapon goes into the lower hard point, the second weapon goes into the higher hard point. If you just want, if you want to have that, just go ahead. But um, I thought it was more streamlined like that, having both large pulses in the lower hard point. So that's um, yeah intentional here. Uh, we got, by the way, with the Grasshopper 5N, we got some interesting quirks. One of them is uh, heat, minus 5% heat. Um, you cannot see that because it's um, amplified by the quirks already, but it's minus 5% energy. Wait, no, no, wait, 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 wait. It's energy heat. Give me a second. Uh, where is that? Do I see it? I don't see it. Do you see it? There it is. Ah, 5% energy heat. And then minus 8.25% heat in general. So we uh, can actually fire that thing a little bit more reliable than in other mechs. Just a little bit, but it's okay. We also got armor and structure quirks. Armor on the arms and the legs and structure in the rest of the mech. And um, that's quite nice to have because um, we are a little bit sturdier because of that. And uh, we can soak up some internal damage. <clears throat> cough, cough, by overheating. <laughs> now, what we do in terms of skills is the following. We go for the classic laser vomit. You know that by now, the classic laser vomit build here in terms of the firepower. We got laser duration, we got the heat gen notes down here, cooldown and range on the way, and we are happy with that. The rest of the points are going into the survivability tree because we are a 300 meters range mech, and that means that we will be in the fight, and that means that we will get shot, and that means that we want every single hit point available, and uh, we get it by that. Also, again, as I was saying earlier, we got structure and armor quirks, and we get a lot of value out of that if we amplify them with the skills. That gives us real good uh, sturdiness? Is that what you say? I don't know. Uh, no mobility, no jump jets, but of course, full cool run. We also got that heat containment note down here, which is more or less optional, but I like to have it. And of course, we are running the double cool shot with a UAV on top of that. Now, that's the build, everybody. I wish you lo a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Assault on the Polar Highlands. And we have a lot of ATMs on the field. We have a lot of LRMs on the field. The stuff is already flying here. Got a lot of large lasers on the battlefield. And uh, we have pulse lasers and medium lasers. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Um, yeah, we're gonna go into the center uh, of the map and uh, try to somehow close distance. That's the thing, that's the plan. Um, I'm not gonna engage early. I wanna wait for the later game and I wish I had... Never mind, I'm not. I'm gonna engage this Piranha if he's showing up. Um, but I wish I had jump jets now. That would have been great, but I don't, so it's okay. So with the 5% um, heat generation quirk, um, we can actually sustain ourselves for quite a while. If we do this, we are at about 40 something, especially here on Polar Highlands. Do the same thing again and we are at 60 something, and then we can do it once more until we reach maximum heat. You see that? So that is our heat threshold and that is how we're gonna win the video game here. Let's go for this guy. Oh yeah. Dead. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I just wanted to help. <laughs> oh, hello, good sir. Can I interest you in some laser fire? 
That's a Warhammer. Yeah, I was not in optimal range. Again, this is just some peeking here. Some early game shenanigans that are not really... Oh, actually, I'm gonna push the Supernova. I want this guy dead. He's LRMs only. Let's go, guys. Uh, there's also an Urban Mech next to him. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna try to get some kills here. Hi. Okay, I should probably talk on arm lock. Ah, too late. Way too late. Still pushing, though. Yeah, let's go for the side tosses for both of them. Dead. Nice there. Did you see that? We uh, destroyed the left and right side torso at the same time. My my friend and me there. That's the Warhammer still. Again, I want to make him uncomfortable. Problem is that they know that we have... Um, I mean, they have a UAV. They had it. Let's push, guys. Let's go in. Mm. I mean, yeah, we are dealing damage, but not much. Yeah, I copy that. I'm gonna come back. Uh, Hotel 8, guys. Hotel 8. Let's kill those guys and then deal with the rest. Oh, 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 that's um, a little bit more than one guy, obviously. Do I want to be on the front line? I don't think so. Nope. Let's dive down again. Where is, uh, by the way, where is my Warhammer that I saw earlier? I want to kill that guy. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, cooling down again. And that's a cool thing. With such an engagement, uh, we can actually take some breaks in between. And uh, then we come from another angle and uh, keep going with what we did before. <sighs> I'm super unhappy, though, that we are only making snapshots here. Um, getting kills with an XL engine. Okay, I'll take it. Um, but we are not in optimal range. That's the thing. Nice ferret. Let's go. Nice ferret. In your side torso. Or maybe your life? Got it! <laughs> Speaking of uh, not dealing optimal damage, we, it's enough to take the kills anyway. Keep pushing, guys. We are uh, surrounding them now. Alright. That's an archer. Oh, that was the LRM20 archer from before. I think he was saying something like, Hey, Barodul, I'm playing one of your builds. Uh, sorry. Sorry. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna kill you anyway. Is that okay? Uh, here's the archer. Let's go. Wait, this is another archer. I'm gonna stay on him, though. He has a good opportunity to get the kill right now. He's dead. Okay, never mind. What about you, dude? Can I can I interest you in some fire as well? It's urban mech. Mm, I gotta be careful with my. No, I don't need to be careful at all with anything here. Uh, with heat, with heat, the heat, the heat, the heat. I need to be careful with heat. I just realized. Uh huh. Wait, wait. I mean, we have structure. We have a lot of it. Uh, medium lasers. That was a good laser burn. More medium lasers. <laughs> and down he goes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, structure is good on the grasshopper, so we can overextend a little bit, maybe? Okay. <laughs> Alright, we got two kills, uh, ten assists, uh, three kill most damage dealt, 605 damage done, and seven components destroyed. Although, we were playing Polar Highlands, and that's pretty good. That's kind of an achievement here. Now, first game over, let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, the second game of the day. We are playing, um, running into assassins. That's what we are playing here. <laughs> Ow, my legs. Why are you destroying my legs, man? I didn't do anything to you. Oh, I didn't hurt you. By the way, nice camo here. Oh, I like that color pattern. Is that, is that a fractal? Fractal color? Or fractal with some color stuff? Uh, yeah, we're gonna dodge those missiles. Uh, partly. Pa partially. Pa partly? What do you say? I don't know. Uh, we're gonna go over to the Echo 5 area because this is a good spot for me to be in. We have a bunch of enemies there and um, we might be uh, finding some assault mags that we can backstab with our grasshopper here. It's not really the, the mech to go fast and go, you know, in the backs of the enemies completely and then you know, it's not really a light mech. Uh, but we have some good firepower and if there is an unaware enemy that brings or shows us his beautiful back, um, then we're gonna do it. We're gonna take advantage of that. Also, hi Atlas, just hanging out there. So UAV on this edge, and this is exactly what I was expecting. We have a Warhammer there. He's getting wrecked now. Oh, he's also running pulse lasers. On the Warhammer, please. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, he was XL. Okay, cool. Uh, let's keep going then. <laughs> I'm gonna take it. Uh, left side on the Stormcrow. Mm -hmm. uh, he's gonna drop there because he's gonna get pushed by my buddies on the top and therefore I'm gonna go with him I'm gonna hunt him down. Maybe I'm gonna kill him. Uh, there's a big maybe 
At least we're gonna take his side torso off, and that's a lot of the LRMs gone. Goodbye, Irby. I, I, I don't want you. Oh, actually, no, I need to pull back because I'm too hard to actually engage this little guy. I'm gonna shoot some medium lasers here. I think they are heat efficient or more heat efficient. Damage compared to damage. Then my last pulse is there. Got the machine guns off. Got the urban mech off. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Okay, back to normal vision. There's one guy there. It's a battle master. Hello, battle master. Is it also running some kind of pulse? Pulse build? Is it a pulse build? I don't know. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go for the Hellbringer there. It's very nice that he painted his mech so nicely so that I can shoot his side torso. Um, yeah, he's trying to get away from me. Also, bam! Who shot me there with the auto cannon? Um, oh, those guys. There are a bunch of people down there. This star. Ah, no, no, no. Okay, we need more friends. We need more friendlies to actually take the damage. I'm almost out of ammo. Okay, keep pushing, guys. We have it. Mm, I don't like being in low ground, to be honest. On the Orion. Uh, no, I need to go. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Just showing a right arm to you. Okay. Never mind. Somebody else, please take the point. Because my mech is almost down. Almost. I mean, yeah, we have some. Never mind, we're fine. Got that guy. Oh, I'll bring up. Mm, I was about to say I need to twist, but I didn't. It's okay though, because we got nine kills already and it's four enemies left. That laser vomit. Oh my god. Yeah, the thing is, laser vomit clan mechs actually got a buff with the latest patch. Those guys are crazy. Anyhow, we rolled over them 11 and 4. It's sometimes nice to see something like that. So that's the arm of the Mauler. Uh, that's the side also of the Mauler. And that's the center torso of the Mola. Alright guys, that was nice. I mean, yeah, we took a lot of damage here and um, I wasn't bringing my mech to the end of the game. But you know what, I'm perfectly happy with that because we definitely, definitely did our part here. That was cool. Now, let's have a look at the end score before we finish the video. We got one kill, three kill most damage dealt even, and we got eight assists with 558 damage done and four components destroyed. Honestly, that was uh, second highest damage on my team and third highest damage on uh, in overall here. So that's, uh, I think it's okay. Anyhow, guys, that's your daily dose for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. Either uh, check out my Patreon page for some perks or you can become a channel member here on YouTube now. It's uh, the link or the button down below next to the video stage or beneath the video stage. And um, I hope to see you guys on the battlefield. Goodbye.